Hello, this is Loopline, and in this video I want to cover the new licensing update in Scrapebox version 1.16.4. Now, a lot of other features will go into 1.16.4, uh, but the purpose of this video specifically is the licensing update. Due to how the licensing works and making it easier for users uh, and less confusing when it comes to using Scrapebox on servers such as a VPS server or a dedicated server, there's a licensing change. Now if you're on a desktop um, using it, desktop, laptop, that sort of thing, with a, basically with a home version of Windows such as Windows 7 or Windows XP, Windows 8, 8.1, something like that, then you're not going to notice any difference at all. When you update to 1.16.4, everything will work just like normal. If you are using Scrapebox on a VPS, say um, running Windows 2008 or 2012, you know, etc., that sort of thing, a server version of Windows, you're running it on a VPS or a dedicated server, um, under like remote desktop, that sort of thing, then there will be a slight change to Scrapebox in dot four. So this is 1.16.3. You can see it opens up. Everything looks just like normal. When I open 1.16.4, I get a little pop-up window asking me to enter my email address. Again, this is a simplification so that whenever users use this on a server like a VPS company that has lots of different hosting for a lot of different Scrapebox clients so licensing works smoothly for for everybody and makes everything simple you only have to do this once all you do is you enter your license email just like this and you hit okay there's a link here to how to look up your PayPal email uh, the licensing email is going to be your primary email address in PayPal. So if you go into PayPal and you look at what your primary email is, that is going to be your license email unless you have changed your primary PayPal email since you bought Scrapebox or if you contact Scrapebox and ask them to change your license email for some reason, in which case you would probably have record of that. But it's the same email address you enter whenever you transfer Scrapebox or whenever you click the activate button and activated Scrapebox for the very first time. You just enter that same email here, plain and simple. You click OK. It's going to update the license and um, do a little downloading and away we go one time only you have to enter that email address and then you're set and ready to go and that is the licensing update for Scrapebox version 1.16.4